Let's read our next chapter in our Chesset 3 story. It's called The Spell of the Blue Bell, Part 1. In King Shaky and King Chopper's kingdom, it was a very nice day outside. Because it was so beautiful out, everyone thought it would be a great idea to go to the park and play chess. So that's what they did. King Shaky, King Chomper, Bee and Bop, Queen Bella, Queen Allegra, Clip and Clop, and all the pawns were there too. But when King Shaky sat down at the table, he did not have a friend to play chess with. Just as he realized this, he saw an old man walking through the park. King Shaky called out to the man, Hey, would you like to play chess? The old man heard him and hobbled over to the table. But he did not look very friendly. He said, What's the name of this game? King Shaky replied, This game is called chess. Well, I'm really good at chess, and I'm going to beat you very badly, said the old man. King Shaky said, I'd love a challenging game. What's your name? The old man said, My name is King Richard, and I'm going to win. The game began. King Shaky quickly realized that King Richard was not very good at chess. His hand was shaking when he moved the pieces, and sometimes he looked like he did not know how to move the pieces at all. King Richard even thought you won a game of chess by balancing a rook on top of your head. It was not long before King Shaky beat King Richard very badly. King Shaky captured King Richard's king, reached out his hand, and said, Good game. King Richard, however, would not have it. He said, no, I'm not going to shake your hand. I lost, and losing makes me very sad and very angry. I'm not going to say, good game. King Richard left the chessboard and walked to the top of a nearby hill. When he reached the top of the hill, he let out a great, long whistle. <whistles> All his friends playing chess heard him, and then they heard hooves clicking. Click clop, click clop, click clop. A big, bad, mean-looking horse ran out of the forest and up to King Richard. King Richard patted the horse on the back and took a blue bell from the horse's saddle. King Richard held the blue bell in the air, looked at all his friends playing chess, and cackled. <laughs> he rang his blue bell slowly three times. Dong, dong, dong. King Richard laughed again, mounted his big horrible horse, and rode off. No one understood why King Richard would ring this strange bell and run away. Everyone shrugged and looked back at their chess boards, ready to return to their games. But King Shaky realized something very scary. When he looked down at the chess pieces on the chess board, he had no idea what they were. He looked at the board as if he had never seen it before. He said, what's this silly looking board and why does it have two different colored squares on it? He proceeded to pick up the black king, his own piece, and he did not know what it was. What is this funny piece and what do I do with it? King Shaky picked up the knight and didn't know how to make it dance. Gallop, gallop, step to the side. He did not know any of the names of the pieces. King Shaky put all the pieces in the center of the board and said, I don't know what any of these pieces do, so I'm just going to leave them here and see if anyone else knows how they work. When he went around to each of his friends, he discovered that none of them knew how to play chess either. King Chopper said, I don't know what these things are. They look weird shaped, like weird shaped potatoes. They don't even taste very good. 
Let's just throw all these pieces away. We don't need them. King Richard had cast a sinister spell that caused everyone in the world to forget how to play chess. Now he alone could be the best chess player. Meanwhile, King Richard rode his horse all the way back to his gloomy castle where he could celebrate his new success. He went up to the tallest tower in his castle with his chess set, and when he got there, he looked out the window and said, I am the best chess player in the whole world because no one knows how to play. That's, that means I am the best and I will never lose. I will always win. <laughs> King Richard took out his chessboard and chess pieces and set up all the pieces on the right squares. After he set up all the pieces, he sat down on the side with the white pieces and saw the sun high in the sky through the window. King Richard said aloud, this will be the best game of chess I have ever played. He reached out his hand and moved the pawn in front of the king two spaces into the kitchen. But when he looked across the chessboard, he realized something terrible. No one was sitting on the other side. No one was playing the black pieces. King Richard waited and waited and waited for someone to move them. He waited until the sun had set outside the window, but no one had moved the black pieces because no one came to play chess with King Richard. When King Richard realized that he had made a huge mistake, he was the best chess player in the world because no one else knew how to play. But that meant no one else to play against him so he would never play a chess game again. And when he realized this, he said, well, that is fine. This just means no one will ever play chess again. And I will be the champion for all time. King Richard did not care that he was unable to finish the game. He gathered up the pieces, put them in the bag, and threw them away, knowing he would never play chess again.